that Allah is not to be set a rival with. Now I'm Mas'ud, my man, 50 grand. Tell me, Mas'ud, tell me why Allah is the only one to be worshipped. Tell me why. How old are you? Five? Tell me why. And I got a good, tall gift for you. Tell me why Allah is the only one to be worshipped. Tell me. Tell me why Allah is the only one to be worshipped. Don't be shy. I know you ain't. Tell me why Allah is the only one to be worshipped. You and Muhammad to help you? Muhammad help your brother. Tell me why. Let's say, and mashallah akbar. I'm not going to break his back, Muhammad, right? He was giving da'wah to one of his classmates. To the point the classmate wanted to accept Islam. Him right there. Allahu Akbar in the Ghutra. He was giving da'wah to one of his classmates and the classmate wanted to take is to take to accept Islam. How old are you? Seven? Seven. May Allah preserve you and your family. I mean. That's important, but alhamdulillah, right? That's important to Alhamdulillah raise our kids in the proper aqeedah, Right? So what is the intellectual proof that Allah is the only one to be worshipped? Oh, Amen. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. All right, Shakir, go ahead. I'm not looking at you. All right, Shakir, go ahead. All right. I'm not looking at you now. I'm, I'm pointing at you now. All right, all right. Shakir, I'm looking at today right here. Now I'm the intellectual proof that only Allah is to be worshipped. Omar? Right? He is, uh, he is ever living and he don't die. Yeah, that's, that's, that's enough to know that he is the only one to be worshipped. Naam, Abdul Rahman. Uh, intellectual proof that only Allah is to be worshipped. Meaning you have in front of you a kafir. Right? You want to tell him why he has to worship Allah alone without any partner. Without you bringing any verse in the Quran or in, or in a narration from the Prophet Ali Salatu You know, for the lofty names and attributes, you need what? No, you need what? Proof from the book and from the sunnah. Right? All right, very good. One right there. That Allah creates everything. Allah creates everything. Allah is the creator of everything. Allah is the creator of everything. So therefore, if He is the creator of everything, does anyone deserve to be worshipped? Because whatever is being worshipped besides him, if Allah did not create him, it will not exist. Right? Alayim. This was the between brackets. So the Prophet Ali Salatu Wasalam he said to the companions, Bayuni Ala Allah to Shiriku Billahi Shaya. Give me the bay'ah, meaning give me the pledge of allegiance that you will not ascribe no partner with Allah. Shay'an in anything or with anybody. Right? Here, barakallah fikum, the word shay'an. Shay'an. Here it is an nakira. Right? Fi siyaqin nafi. Yufidu al umum. Here it is shay'an, it is indefinite. So if the negation comes in an indefinite form, it is to mean everything possible. Whether it is a prophet, or whether it is a malakun muqarrab, a close angel, or a, a, a prophet that is sent, or whatever it is, a wali, or a salihin, or a rock, or a tree, or a cup, or, or this or that. No one is to be set rival with Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Fahim Tum Kesh. So the second thing that the Messenger alayhi salatu wa salam he mentioned, Wala Tasriku. The second one is what? 
Allah tushriku billahi wa la tusriku. The second one is what? That you do not steal. Steal. Do not steal. Do not rob somebody. Do not steal. Do not scam. And stealing barakallahu fikum come in many forms. Comes in many forms barakallahu fikum. Right? You have those blue uh, white colored thieves. Right? Alaykum salam. You got those white colored thieves. You got those professional scammers. You got all of those barakallahu fikum. The credit card scammers that is La qibala today. There are no extent today in our day and time. Right? Why call a crime? Right? A person can scam you, subhanallah azim, without even you knowing that he scam you until he's gone. Now you realize he scam you. A few months down the line, yeah, you realize you are being scammed. Right? So the second one is that, wala tusriqu. And you do not steal. You do not steal. Wala taznu. And you do not fornicate. Wala taqtulu awladakum. And you do not kill your own children. You do not kill your own children. Huh? Either abortion or killing them literally. Right? Because remember Barakallah from the Arabs, the Quraysh, or the Arabs, the Quraysh, right, from the pagan, from the Jahiliya, they used to do what? They used to bury their daughters alive. Right? وَلَا تَقْتُلُوا أَوْلَادَكُمْ And do not kill your children. وَلَا تَأْتُوا بِبُهْتَانِمْ بَيْنَ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَأَرْجُلِكُمْ And do not slander. Do not slander intentionally. Do not slander anyone intentionally. Meaning anyone. Do not slander. Huh? Slander. 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 Let's not restrict something that is left to general. Slander. He did not say, okay, how about do not rob the kafir? A robbery is robbery. Whether you did to a Hindu or to a Jew or to a... It doesn't matter. It's robbery. And some people, and alhamdulillah you mentioned, some people, they think, when ayyadu billah, that it is okay to take the wealth of the Christians or the Jew or the Kuffar in general. They believe that it is permissible to take their wealth. They believe that it is permissible to take their wealth. And they, you know, they use Dar. We are in Dar Harb. We are in, the, we are in Dar Harb. We are at war of, with them. So it is permissible that you rob a, kuf, a kafir. You got, you got people that have this mentality. If you go to certain areas like the West Enders. You all know what I'm talking about, right? West End. They have this type of mentality. It's okay that you rob the, 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 the Christian. It's okay that you rob a kafir because his wealth is lawful. It is okay. There is no if you murder a kafir, it's okay. Okay, where you get that from? Where is that from? From the revelation, from the narrations. Okay, robbery is robbery, whether it is against a Muslim or against a kafir. Whether it is against a Atheist or whomsoever it is. It is robbery. Likewise, slandering is slandering. Doesn't matter who you're doing it against. If I were to tell you, you know, those Catholics is coming to the stake in Catholics, they're coming to hack us. That's not slandering. That is not slandering. You're telling me to prepare. They're coming to, to, to attack us. You're not, that's not slandering. If that's something that is waqi'ah, that's something that is, that is the truth, that's not slandering. Slandering, how would you define slandering in English? Saying something that is not true? It's not even true though. Let's say some, saying something that is not even the truth behind somebody. 
backbiting, it is even it is the truth behind someone and he is not pleased with it. It is it is it is backbiting. No, backbiting is not permissible. It is not. No, me, me, meaning, no, meaning, what, what you backbiting? It, it, the rules is barakallah fikum. It is not about who the action is being done onto. It is about the action. It is a yes. It's across the board. It's the action itself. Just like you say, okay, killing a, a, a Muslim or killing a no. The fact of killing is is not permissible. وَمَنْ قَتَلَ نَفْسًا فَإِنْ فَكَأَنَّمَا قَتَلَ النَّاسَ جَمِيعًا So ever kill one individual, it's like he killed the whole entire humanity. Mm. No. Okay, that's that's from Jahiliya. That's from Jahiliya. And this is this is Barakallah. This is like he's saying, okay, how about you know people that say, well, you know, these people they 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 did uh, they colonized us or they enslaved us or they did this or they did that. So it is time for payback. La. Listen, you will not, you will not, if I took your phone. It will not be permissible for you to take Hamza phone. <coughs> what is he guilty of with? What is he guilty of? I was the one that took your phone. I was the one that stole your shoes. What do you, if you stole if I steal your shoes, you turn around and steal Hamza's shoes, listen, you are as guilty as me. Both of us carrying sins. So if someone Barak Allah Fikum has done their oppression, now that is between them and Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. That is not giving me no rights to Barak Allah Fikum go on the street to riot, to loot, and to do things like this. It is not. It is not Barak Allah Fikum. It is not Barak Allah Fikum. And likewise, we do not generalize. The Salafi does not generalize. Generalize means, for instance, you say, all Vietnamese, they are like this. Or all Puerto Rican, they are like this. Or all African American, they are like this. Or all Asian people are like this. Or all African, they are like this. Or all white people, they are like this. It is not permissible to generalize. Because if you do so, you are oppressing and you are slandering those who are from the, from the exceptions. So this is something that alhamdulillah we all got to be very cautious about. Very cautious about barakallahu feekum. All as of jahiliya akhi, the black life matter, the, the Pakistani life matter, the sarafullah life matter, all of those is jahiliya barakallahu feekum. Senegalese life don't matter. <laughs> right, all of those is jahiliya barakallahu feekum. All of those things is is it's from, from, from the, from the pre-Islamic days of ignorance trails. It, it is. Alaykum salam to God. But rather the person of the sunnah, alhamdulillah, he, he has to be upon what? Upon barakallah, fikum, that which the Prophet, alayhi was. Based on adding on to that, what if someone come along and we can move on after this and say, I'm going to use this to support it and then the Prophet Muhammad says, when he no, that's different. Because he was dealing with the same individuals. It was not their forefathers or great grandfathers. No, that was the same Abu Sufyan and others. Yeah. Same people. Directly. Directly. Now, if you want to retaliate with, against these people that died 400 years ago, go to their graves and, you know, and dig them up. Bring them out. And retaliate to them. Huh? Well, I'm making a point here. Yeah. Not haqiqatan. Not haqiqatan. 
طيب سو الحمد لله الناس بس الناس ذا بروفيت عليه الصلاه والسلام هي سي 